Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a very good week so far and are getting along really well with your home learning. Um, I hope you're also enjoying some of the sunshine that we've, we've had um, and some of the snow over the weekend too. Um, I thought today we could continue with our theme of feeling a bit small sometimes um, and overcoming challenges, being brave and following our dreams. And I've chosen a sweet little story today to share with you. And it's called Pilot Ray, the Tale of a Snail. Now I've chosen this story because it links in with the story of Gertie um, that we had last week. And it's about being brave. It's about following your dreams, not giving up, loving your family, um, and overcoming that idea of sometimes feeling like we're too small or we're too young. So find a nice comfortable spot and let's enjoy the story. Here we go. Pilot Ray, the tale of a snail. Now the story, before we begin, the story is about Ray and his brothers. He has his brother called Francis, his brother called Dean, and his brother called Steve. In a wild secret garden, not too far away, lived the smallest of snails, and the snail's name was Ray. Ray wasn't alone in the garden so green. He lived with his brothers, Steve Francis and Dean. Ray's brothers were known for their skills far and wide. They would boast about them and their chests full of pride. But what about Ray? What was special about him? He was slow, not creative, not strong, and too slim. All you are is tiny, his brothers would scream. But Ray's superpower was dreaming a dream. He wondered all day how it feels to fly high, like a bee or a bird, through the blue endless sky. One day he announced, I'll be flying up there and you will be gazing at me in the air. I will be Pilot Ray, and I'll fly far away. None of you care about me anyway. Oh, forget it, his brothers were laughing out loud. You'll never succeed. Snails can't fly like a cloud. When Ray found a wrapper, he hoped he would fly. He folded an airplane and pushed it up high. But Ray was too slow and he failed to hop on. So he watched it take off. Soon the airplane was gone. At noon the next day, the air filled with heat. Ray climbed on a berry, all juicy and sweet. He chewed and he chomped. Well, he ate a whole lot. Soon he yawned and lay down, then dozed off on the spot. Ray was easy to spy, lying there on the red, snoring peacefully zzz, in his strawberry bed. Looks really comfortable, doesn't it? Ray didn't notice the sky turning black, nor the crow swooping in to have snail for a snack. It wasted no time and it grabbed the poor chap, but that was how Ray quickly ended his nap. Ray was scared for his life because once he had heard that things don't end well in the claws of a bird. He yelled, help! Oh no, help! And he made such a noise that it woke the whole garden, including the boys. Steve Francis and Dean all looked up straight away. That was surely the final goodbye for poor Ray. They had tears in their eyes, held them back with all might, when they watched little Ray disappear out of sight. Quietly, Dean sighed. I'll miss that snail, though. You can't choose your fam, but he's still our bro. High up in the air, things looked terribly bad. I won't make it, thought Ray, and that made him so sad. Why did we waste time with the fighting and such? Why didn't I say that I love them so much? With claws wrapped around him, as sharp as a knife, 
he decided to cherish his last moments of life. He breathed the cold air, smelled the late summer breeze, and looked down at his home, at the creek and the trees. Oh, what is this thing that is catching my eye? It is white and it flies right below in the sky. Little Ray made a plan. Now I know what to do. He first held his breath, so the crow had no clue. Then he wiggled and jiggled, ignoring the pain. I can't give up now. There is freedom to gain. Soon he slipped out through the cork claws of the crow. Down, down he fell, and the crow didn't know. He had left there behind in the crow's prison cell. Nothing less than his house, his beloved green shell. Ray fell down with a grin, fireworks in his brain. Then he clapped, he dropped with a plop on his own paper plane. The goggles in place and his scarf wrapped up tight. Pilot Ray flew back home in an elegant flight. Right above the green garden, big circles he flew. He spotted his crew and he yelled, I love you. Steve, Francis and Dean looked in shock at each other. Then they cheered loudly at the return of their brother. They greeted him warmly and jumped for a cuddle, then huddled together to kiss and to snuggle. And gently they whispered, we need one another. You are still so tiny, but a great little brother. That Ray lost his shell, the remember forever, he was known from then on as the first slug pilot ever. And that is the end of the tale of a snail called Pilot Ray. Now that's a really sweet little story about loving your family, remembering to say I love you to the people you care about. So I'd like to set that challenge for you this week or for today even to say or to tell somebody that you care about, that you love them. It might be your mum, it might be your dad, your brother or sister, a friend, um, maybe even your pet at home. But make a special effort today or sometime this week to tell someone that you're thinking about them, you care about them and that you love them. Another message in that story that I like to take from it is no matter how small you might be, hold on to your dreams and you will see. Believing in dreams can grow wings and help you achieve such big things. So sometimes we, we forget that dreams are really important. It's important to have a dream and to have a wish and an aspiration and to work hard to reach that goal or that dream. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop believing in your dreams. Um, and that's, yeah, I hope you take that message away from the story today. Also remember everyone that you can have a go at drawing your very own version of Pilot Ray. Ms. Clausen has put together a fantastic art video talking you through the steps um, to draw Pilot Ray. You might even decide to draw Pilot Ray's brothers, or maybe you'll make up your own snail creation and share that with us on Facebook and on Twitter. Here is Pirate, Pilot, I keep was about to call him a pirate, Pilot Ray that Miss Carson painted. Um, and as I said, have a go, have a fun time creating your own um, little snails, um, or in fact, you can even create Pilot Ray himself. Have a lovely day, enjoy the rest of the week, take care, stay safe, miss you lots, bye.